back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for my commentary on Judo matches you can find on the internet. Uh, so what do I have for you today? I have a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022 uh, in the women's under 63 category between Lucy Renshaw from Great Britain and Angelica Szymanska from Poland. Uh, once again, pronunciation guides are guaranteed to be 100% incorrect, so please do not follow me. So Lucy is in the white, Angelica is in the blue. Let's get this uh, going. Un atout précieux dans cette équipe. Le voici désormais arbitre. C'est tout à son honneur. C'est parti. Okay, yeah, just getting the grips. Okay, around the back. Oh, the Tomonagi. Okay. This uh, camera work, I don't know why they're focusing specifically on Lucy. It seems to be fo following her. Uh, okay, over the grip. So far, Angelica just uh, has tried to initiate both attacks. But, uh, yeah, that's, she's taking the back, but is there anything? Is there a progression there? There is a bit of a progression. Okay, from Lucy. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay, the arm's getting isolated. Okay, there's... Uh, they might stop it. Okay, yeah, they did. Okay. That arm looked like it was getting pulled out, though, so I could see it continuing, but all right. For maybe from my angle, I couldn't really tell, but... Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> this, this cameraman loves zoom. Like, you don't need to zoom that much, man. Come on. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming it's man. Sorry. Uh oh. It's, it looks like Angelica is really quite comfortable on, uh, on the ground. Like, she initiates a lot of stuff that essentially transitions right to the ground. Um, but I haven't seen too much in ways of uh, really doing many effective, like, uh, getting uh, Lucy into a position that Angelica can get either the submission or the, the hold down. It just seems like she's just rolling into stuff, but then it's kind of hitting a wall <laughs> in a way. Uh, maybe that's a credit to uh, Lucy, really. Okay. Yeah, see, the same the same uh, attack, right? The same sumigash, right? So I don't like it because it, you're... From where she's going with the leg, there's not very much that lifting action that uh, that leg can do. Um, yeah, so around the back for Lucy there. Curious to see what what technique she's thinking of. From, from that. Each time she does a grab around the back, it's just the same uh, attack from Angelica. That's gonna that's gonna I think result in a penalty sooner rather than later for Lucy because uh, she's getting the the back grip and then not, it hasn't converted into many attempts, right? Like so, here the grip. Okay, there, there it is. There's something. Okay. And the same, the same attack. This is not going to turn into anything. And the, I think the risk here is that uh, it's, even in that last one, Angelica looked kind of out of position. And uh, I don't know if Lucy really wants to do it. But uh, it would seem like uh, the hold down is close there too. So. Okay. Okay, it's a bit of a different uh, attack this time from Angelica. And uh, Lucy was also attacking similarly, but uh, okay, here we go. There, there it is. Okay. She's going for the... Oh, I don't like that. No. Oh, can't tell from this angle what's going on exactly, but it looks like she's trying to go for the armor, but that's not going to... Yeah. It's way too low. Like, <laughs> the elbow is... Hmm. I would have preferred, actually, if she went over chest down for the hold down and then work the, the leg out because I didn't see that being a very good position for the, for the Jujigatami, but uh, all right. Uchimata into, no, that is, I do not like that combination. 
explique que, effectivement pour les athlètes ce sont de grandes grandes belles et grandes journées there's basically no no leverage there with the with that leg so that left leg that's going in for the uchimata okay this this camera work is <laughs> i don't know yeah the same attack <laughs> This might get called a false attack because that is just, just straight dropping like a rock. Wow. Why are we focusing only on Lucy here? This doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay, there oh, that was pretty good. Just, you know, what's missing is that I must have been, you know, the problem with this is that I don't see where the ref is penalizing because they have this camera so tightly on Lucy. So you can see that Lucy is actually behind on the penalties. It's not surprising because of uh, all the attacks that Angelica was doing, as I was noting earlier, but I just didn't see the penalties. We're going into golden score now. So, uh, as I say, right, golden score, where anything is everything, right? This is get anything. <laughs> it's not to be perfect. The cameraman certainly decided that Lucy is the one to watch. <laughs> I don't know why. She's the one that's behind. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen is get the grab. Okay. Yeah. The net was a, it's sort of like it threatens, but it's not, okay, this is, no, yeah. Still a similar problem. Okay. So. Pour, pour faire vivre votre passion et vous partager bien sûr votre, votre talent d'un point de vue sportif mais aussi d'un point de vue de la culture vous êtes descendu sur I le pour toutes ces animations from the position Donc, that uh, Angelica is going from like, face, like, oui, like if we were to like petit, en fait. construct ça, what she could attack from you know I'd like to see uh, well actually I don't know if Tanya Doge is legal anymore oh Allez, passage au sol, on rentre dans la dernière minute. Deux pénalités pour Ron Charles qui subit le système d'attaque de son adversaire. Zimanska, voilà, qui doit garder ce rythme hein, pour garder son avance et pourquoi pas. Yeah. It, you're sort of seeing the same sequence over and over again here. Uh, and the one success that Lucy had was when she went a little bit different. She went with the, the Sayori. And that was the closest she's gone to a score. So I'm surprised that I'm not seeing that uh, get thrown in a little bit more here. Now, I guess Angelica does have a quite extreme of an angle, but, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so now convert that to uh, hold down. You got to establish a control up top? No? Okay. Oof. It's working real hard. Et les conseils des coachs. Ouais, oui, ça pousse toujours, toujours. Que Frédéric va nous traduire parce que ah, mon, non, polonais, non, 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 je... mon polonais n'est okay. pas très bon. Déjà okay. l'anglais. Hein, vous savez, c'est pas si simple. Alors ok, so. Vous n'y êtes pas encore. Non, there, bon. there, finally, you see the, the left uh, but the drop, but it was not anywhere near as uh, close. They count that as the reversal. They, the reversal. they count as the reversal. <laughs> I have, I've, I'll be, I'm, I'll admit I'm a little bit surprised at that. Is that a really reversal? Uh, disappointment on Lucy's face, but uh, congratulations to Angelica there. Uh, maybe we'll just have a quick look at that. Uh, so, okay, so you were seeing the same sequence of attacks from both of these players for the most part. And uh, I okay, let's let's have a look before I say anything. Yeah, looks like she's getting caught out on the drop. Drop happens here. Just kind of rides her, and the shoulder, like the side, must make the the contact. So that's good enough for Wazari and for the win. Um, hmm. In a weird way, it was almost like uh, 
she kind of just gave it to her. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say gave it to her, but like, uh, it was, it wasn't like a counter counter, right? Like it was sort of just heavy to one side, but, uh, you know what, in the competitive judo at this level, you take whatever advantage you can get, right? So, and, uh, g good on Angelica for getting the win. Not going to diminish that. Uh, it was a hard fought match, so congratulations to her. That those are my thoughts on this match. If you have any of your own thoughts uh, or feedback for the channel or any recommendations, uh, please let me know in the comments. Until then, have a great night.